Well, hello there, and welcome back to Time Toys Let's Play episode 31. Again, I always mess the name up, Tyranty, Tyranty, that game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was about to ask this, this woman something. What can I help you with? How could talking to you offend Ratamar? To you. You chose to speak to the first axe before speaking to the actual first brother. The bodyguard before the leader. How could this mean anything but conclusion and treason? I know I speak out of turn, but I only wish to warn you. Tread lightly around them. Brilliant. So basically talking to you, who I didn't know who the boss was, could basically theoretically cause him to turn on me. Brilliant. Brilliant. Tell me about the bronze of Brotherhood. We're a a little. We're missionaries, plain and simple. I'm not going to pretend like it's anything more. While it's true we have, in recent years, been a little more stationary than... Your typical crew, it doesn't change the fact that our services can be purchased if the price is right. The voice has made an offer to assure our cooperation, and we took it. If I had known characters would try to have us thrown out of our home afterward, well, I probably would have still taken the rings, but I would have been a little more prepared for the Edible conflict. <coughs> Radimer would try to sell you on our long and noble traditions, like with some kind of... was that? Altruistic saints or something. Who can do no wrong, but that story is as old and smelly as Grandma's Beastman's tail hairs. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to take a job that doesn't seem right to me. But I... But I rings a ring, and I will go where the money le leads me. One point re recommend and I will agree on is this. We did our job. For Karazin, but we were not treated fairly. The Brotherhood is strong and we have the members. Numbers, sorry. We will fight to the last man. I just don't agree with Rackman's methods. What does it mean to be First Axe? She sighs. I wish I knew, Fate Finder. The First Axe protects and consults with the First Brother. I'm supposed to be Rackman's advisor, confident and guard. Yeah, he's not in this area, is he? Unless I just talked to the wrong guy. Lately, his behaviour has become erratic. He's acting paranoid, panicked and distrustful. My duty as first axe is to protect the first brother, but I'm also sworn to protect the brotherhood, and if that means the removal of Ravenmore, so be it. He has too many supporters in Lavin's Crossing right now to speak out against him. What do you think has happened to Rakama? Honestly, I couldn't speak to the cause. The stress of leadership, the battles with Karas forces, his nights in the odd walls, well with shrugs. Does it matter? His behaviour is endangering the Brotherhood, and he must be stopped before we are destroyed. I fear people will be hurt by far more than a simple toll. She points south. He is over there, searching corpses, looking for the information. I know he's not going to find. He ambushes a patrol. He's going to anger an, Ar an Archon. And for what? His pride? <coughs> How do you run the Brotherhood? I wouldn't waste time and resources on petty vendettas. That much I can tell you. I like battle, I like rings, and with the Brotherhood we used to get both regularly. Now all we have is fear, suspicion and blood. I want the disciplined, the disciplined regiment back and I intend to have it. Wow, sounds like she's talking about treason. <coughs> sounds to me like you're simply a coward. If you want something, you take it. Reckonment has the right idea. True, acting like a child when you don't get what you want is not... The behavior of a leader. <laughs> you have gained wrath with Bronze Brotherhood. What you proposing is simply anarchy, which will achieve nothing but lead to more chaos. I'm not perfect, but I know better than to throw a tantrum when I don't get my way. I assumed you knew this as well. Forget I said anything. If you do not intend to help, words are useless. Let me ask you something. Looks like I just messed up with the quest. Fudge. Lead us off for now. Well, not by you, leave Faith Bind and be careful. Huh. The basics should probably want me to kill him or something. Mm, okay, gotta keep going. You must be joking. At all, I pay no such thing. I demand to be let in. Oh, what's going on? A small figure stands before you, some armor clad soldiers. His arms move widely as he gestures in frustration, yelling at the man directly in front of him. Absolutely not. I've come through Iron Hall Trail more times than I can remember. No one ever asked for a toll before, and I won't be paying one now. He noticed you standing there by a to speak. Faith by this, surely you, of all people, can help me. My name is Aston, and I must get to Leverand's Crossing. I have goods to deliver. Tell this man I will not be paying a toll to him or anyone, and he is to let me through. He folds his arms over his chest and nods with a pronounced 
if that finally, or physically. Greetings, Faithbinder. Sorry you have been drawn into this. What you have stumbled into here is merely a conflict of the changing times. I am Will of the Bronze Brotherhood. Iron Hall Trail is under our protection, and anyone passing through must abide our rules. If this gentleman would like passage through our land, a simple donation is required. He ha if it's a donation, it's not required. You know, that's the whole point. You're donating. You're willingly giving a donation. If he's demanding a donation, he's demanding pay. It's a bit of a difference. But he's trying to sound like, you know, he's doing it willingly, but the guy won't, so, you know? It's like um, Red Poppy Day in Britain. Basically, you can basically get the uh, Red Poppies for free, but they ask you to donate at a minimum of 1p, at least. People will donate a pound. People will donate five. But they ask for a donation, but you, theoretically, if you don't, they are free. This gentleman would like passage through our land. A simple donation is required. He holds out his hand. These funds help our cause and keep Iron Hall a safe place for all travellers. Clearly you both can see the value in that. As he speaks, his arms swinging about again, emphasising his words. And who exactly is keeping it safe? You're standing there with your weapon at the ready against me. His arms drop and he turns to you again. I'm not but a travelling merchant. I have no money to spare, and I certainly pose no threat to anyone. Keep this area safe. Indeed, he points at Will. You are the only threat here. Faithbinder, please, take some sense of this man. Pay 50 ring toll for Aston. Here is payment for the merchant to pass on armed. Address Will. This man will not be paying a toll today. Call your guards off and allow us passage immediately. Just because you pass through before means nothing. Pay the toll now or head back to your... Uh, to back you try my patience time you on your own hmm this man i'm not gonna pay for him because that, that would be the right thing to do what when my next playthrough i will but this man will not be paying at all today can your guards off and yeah because if i let him through he might give me a discount mm, yeah let's do it you have gained favor with lifters crossing thank you for by the you have done a great deal of good today. Aston bows dramatically. He turns back to the soldier. And you brute, move aside and let me pass. Will holds his position and gives you a meaningful look. Perhaps you want to reconsider your stance on the matter, Faithbinder. He plants his hammer on the ground and leans on it. Staring Aston down, passage is brought with rings or blood. But I will happily take... Oh, he wants a fight. Fine. I stand by my decision. Uh, just because he passes through him. Uh, I stand by my decision. Raises his hand in protest. I thank you for your efforts, Faithbinder, but it is not worth bloodshed. I will leave in peace. Seriously. I just told him to let you through. And you what? Wow. We return to his position, looks you over. His former general mood gone. So I Faithbinder in our little corner of the world. Who would have ever thought this would have happened? He spits between his feet and crushes it into the dirt with his boot. You know, I kind of want to slap him. You're walking a dangerous line, Faith Binder. The Bronze Brother will never back down from threat. He pauses for a moment, sizing you up. Normally, I'll knock you down when you stand for threatening me, but Rathbone demanded to see you if you came through here. I thought he was crazy saying you'd be visiting Lathen's Crossing. Looks like I owe him a few rings. He shakes the pouch around his neck, making the rings inside j jingle. Um, middle of weather. Th uh, that's not the... Look, uh, word. Not that. There's a shortage of those out here. What can this humble servant of the Brotherhood do for you, Faithbinder? And don't ask me to let you through because that isn't happening. Huh? Did he just say the guy wants me to come through if I come through and he's not going to let me? What the fudge? Oh! I see. He's basically said if he comes, let him through. And he goes, I bet he won't come through. So he's going to threaten me to go away. And he, he wins his bet. This guy needs to be taken down a peg or two. Someone made the mistake of giving this little man too much power, and he's about to discover what happens when you stand in my way. If you think you can get him to move, do it. Thanks, but I can handle this. With pleasure. Hey, <laughs> beep meat. <laughs> or oh, poop meat. Do you plan on moving your arse this century? I know it's arse, but arse sounds better. Arse this century. Or do we have to stand here like during like a bunch of grey beards? We're on a mission and staring at your ugly mug and catching up on the past. Won't get it done any faster. Are you going to move on or do I need to start cutting because I'm parial to either option? Partial. The mercenary's mouth hangs open disbelief. He swallows and attempts to gather his pride. I, I would help you, but my boss told me to guard this bridge. No one gets by without Rizman's permission. 
But you just said he wanted to see me. So I have the definition. <laughs> Stupid idiot. You've gained rapid bronze brother hold. Give, give, give me strength. You deserve this far more than I'm going to enjoy it. This swings her fist and lands a punch with a meaty whack, snapping back the mercenary's head. Will rubs his cheek. Hold on. I'm just doing my job. I apologize. If I offended, Raymond will have my head. If I let you through, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's him. While you are talking to Will, a striking man with a shock of bright blonde hair approaches, moving away from some men, searching bodies of slain soldiers to the south. He watches you intently as he closes, his anger features pulling into a look of disdain. And here's the faith binder. He doesn't mask displeasure in his voice. I knew we'll see you. I was just wondering when. What brings you out here? No one asked you to come. Oh, Carson, dog's ready to... Be put down again, I won't surrender the crossing no matter how many times you try to take it. We will hide to protect the city and we will continue to do so. No one else will have it. He glares at his men who have stopped to watch the conversation with a start. They return to searching the bodies. Never mind, he waves a hand dismissively. I don't care why you're here. My name is Ruth Rasimano, common whatever. I'm the leader of the Bronze Brotherhood. But I'm sure you already know that. I couldn't... Well, yeah, it says your name there. <laughs> but I, I'm sure you already know that. I couldn't help but see you over here talking to Will and the travelling merchant. Only here for a moment and already sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, aren't you? I don't appreciate others invading my territory, fate binder. I told him he had to speak to you, Rakaman. He wanted it through. No, you didn't! He told me I had to speak to him. No, he said he wanted to see me. And as I knew, he was across the bridge. So, just saying that you need to let me in to see him. You didn't say, oh, good spot, speak to him, he's over there to the south. You know? He didn't go, yo, leader, bossy dude, this guy wants to speak to you. No, he didn't. So he's lying through his teeth right now. He wanted free, but I told him, no, if you don't give me a signal, the faith finder isn't getting into Lavin's Crossing. No one will invade your territory. Says at will for a moment, lips purse, then continues as if Will never spoke. Speaking of which... What did Wilman have to say? He looks north where Wilman stands watching you both intently. Has she already started filling your mind with lies about me? She and I are going to have a chat soon. I can't have my fist, first axe, fist axe, first axe. Countermanding me at every turn. I know she wants my position. Watch yourself while you are, are a guest in my land. If you have come to stir up more trouble, we are... We are well equipped and will not back down in defense of what is rightfully ours. He sweeps his arms in front of him, gesturing to the surrounding countryside. Worry and I might not always agree, but this is one point we see eye to eye on. If you step out of line, we will both correct you. His eyes narrow and he lean, lean towards you. You are not welcome here. Now tell me what you want to leave. Wow. <laughs> You're looking for trouble? Here it is. <laughs> Uh, you would do well to watch your tone when speaking to a faith binder. Why are you charging travellers to get through? Tell me about Bronze Brotherhood. I need to get to Lavin's Crossing. Tell me about Wembley. That one. Last Howley. I care not about Carson forces. We will rebuff their feeble attempt to remove us from our rightful home once already. I am more than happy to try again. You will find I do not cower when... You raise your voice against me, lapdog. Wow, lapdog. Let's find out about this first. So important brotherhood. We were asked to do a job, and we did it. Then what happened? Carson attempts to eject us from our home. He makes an emphasis gesture to North to it. Oh, so basically, they've done the job, and they've stayed afterwards. So theoretically, me removing them would make my boss seem in a good light. Hmm. By all rights, the city is ours, and suddenly Carson wants it. Well, I intend to keep it. I refuse to leave. We protected the crossing for years, and even ensured Carson's forces could do business here when Nurton asked us to. No, we did the job. We were asked, and this line belongs to us. Tell me, Webley. He shoots a look at the to the north. I had such high hopes for her as a, as my first axe. The, the continuous success of the Brotherhood should be the, the single most important goal for anyone. That's what she's been saying and you're not doing it. Who is a member? She seems to have forgotten her place. She is not the head of this band. I am. 
If she doesn't stop overacting, I will have to replace her with someone who knows how to obey. Uh, you should know that Wembley said you are unfit to lead. You have gained favour. Looks north again, his expression is stony. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm glad to have a suspicious suspicion confirmed. We might be having a talk sooner than expected. Considers you for a moment. Perhaps I misjudged you, but I suppose suppose time will tell. Uh, I need to get delivered in. Why are you charging travellers? I don't see how the affairs of Brotherhood are your business. They find her. It is said that the funds we receive from our tolls help us keep the land around safe we are owed our dues and we shall have them tell me about the bronze hood i need to get in there we are humble group <laughs> a lot of rubbish <laughs> with noble long held traditions on the side of right and honor Re reckon's voice fills with pride does it any injustice that needs to be signed we are called sounds like you're upstanding citizen so you hide missionaries you gain wrath Face takes out the sauce pressure. If you want to be crass, then yes. People pay us for our services, but it's hardly the reason when we do it. What we do. Relax, there's no shame in doing what you do well for a decent wage, but claiming you're doing the work of the righteous when you're just selling your broad makes you sound like a brigand or a conqueror. Those are quite arrogant words from a man who belongs to a group that takes knowledge and hides it from the world. Your opinion in the matter means nothing to me. Uh, you said you don't uh, do it for money, but that's why you're fighting over Overland's Crossing. I don't appreciate your tone or the implications of what you're saying, they find her. Rickman's eyes are hard and his voice is flat. This is mere matter of principle. We perform a service and we were paid for that service. Don't try to gillyby explain away a complex situation. That is our home. This is our home. I will have it. No one else. Now, if all you came here to is something me and mine, I would suggest you leave. Wow. I need to get there. Consider your quest for a moment. If you let, if I let you through, you must promise to behave. I have enough problems dealing with everyone else. I don't need to hassle uh, of keeping an eye on you too. So watch yourself. This is my city. I have eyes everywhere. If you tend to stir up trouble, go somewhere else. I don't need it here. And with that, I'm going to end the episode right here. So like, subscribe, and that good stuff. And tune in next time when, you know what? I might just kick the living hell out of this guy. He's so arrogant. And it would help my, my, my standing with the boss, of course. So, bye for now, people. Bye-bye.